At any rate, uh, we are getting into game number two here for the Ting Open. We're in the loser's bracket. This is not a qualifying match, but nobody else has any lives to fall back on, so it's still pretty important that everybody continues Ooh. to win. Oh, but I see some action on the mini-map. So in the bottom, or sorry, excuse me, top left side of the map, he's going to be the red Zerg player, Hyun, and he is on his last life. In the bottom right, as the blue Terran, it's Gumiho. Now, this is interesting because he doesn't have gases coming down. I don't know if there's any two racks you just send marines in that far away. Right, but I <laughs> like, mean, right. he's got to go to refinery, right? But he's not. He's, if, if he's not now, then I don't think he is. Like, yeah, so this might be something, hear me out, this sounds so dumb. This might be like a halfway committed. Like, do you remember there used to be those, those two racks openers that would actually just be straight up openers? You'd send the marines across the map and float the barracks back quickly instead of going all in. Then you would expand. I kind of feel like that might be what he's planning to do with this, rather than actually go for this big all-in. But, oh, two gases finally start up. And... I mean, that's not going to affect... Marines. It's still going to be Marines. It's still not going to be Reapers, but... With gases starting up double like this, it's not going to be falling back for an expand. It's going to be heading for, like, a factory and then, like, a Banshee. Yeah, I do wonder if it's going to be something like a Marines and a Hellions, um, or Marines and a Reapers would also be kind of crazy. He scouts the timing on the pool. Uh, I don't know. Okay, they're just going to go out hunting Overlords. So he alerts Hyun. I guess the, the uh, Overlord would have seen it anyways, eventually. Um, and that will force Hyun to get, you know, maybe a few more lings if he really wants to in the that, early game. That actually doesn't supply block Hyun like it normally would, either. Hatch you give you so much supply now. Yeah, I oh, forgot to is... give you more than one. This is why, I mean, the two racks, the three racks, whatever you wanted to do really fell out is because you could pull a lot of drones and still be okay economically. Yeah, you have more drones to pull is kind of the, uh, the big logic here. But this kiting out of Gumio is pretty nice. And Hyun, not quite getting that surround, losing a lot of mining while this goes on as well. And that bunker, it's still going to complete. He never put links on the SCP building the bunker. Mm, yeah, it does complete and actually saves the SCP too. Uh, can't use it, There's going to be a lot of lings. Yeah, exactly. There's going to be a lot of lings, uh, a couple of queens, maybe some extra queens, and all right, he can't use it, so he uses but it. He's already gotten a massive lead off of this. Like, Hyun's down to 14 workers. He's not building any more drones. He's forced to make a ton of lings. And give me a back at home. He's heading towards what is, I'm guessing, Banshees. Again, that double gas has got me questioning because reasons, but. This uh, this situation for him is not too bad. He's, uh, he's he could have expanded. Gumio could have stopped making marines and continued to just play this out a little bit more macro oriented. But he's gonna keep the pressure on. And even with uh, speed being done like that, there's still a lot of marines to contest. Yeah, uh, does go for the round this round because speed finish. But that's some nice stutter step. So they're gonna trade out pretty evenly, especially the reinforcement marines coming along here. Yeah, still is like that move the bodies. The, the barracks back and still hasn't expanded either, so like it's gonna be like a marine tank follow up? What? <laughs> I mean, tank, maybe he was actually, hoping that. Tank drops doesn't what? seem like a terrible, uh, terrible choice right now. Considering I mean, there's not gonna be roaches or ravagers or barely even any queens to snipe off the medevacs. I can actually kind of see this maneuvering kind of like, like when, when, you, when this was a first introduced build and Zerg didn't know how to deal with it, it kind of feels like that what Hyun's gonna be stuck with. Cause what what can he do with this? Um. So I I was wondering if maybe Gumiho wanted Hyun to take the gold base, like that would have been the ideal scenario for doing a push like this. It might still work without being as as forward as the gold base would make you, but I think that that would have been a little bit better for his push. I don't know. Hyun is getting roaches. Uh, realizes the possibility since he saw the lack of a command center that you know tech is on the way and that tech can be in Liberator. You're gonna want Ravagers for that. You're gonna want Roaches for the tank. It's just a frontal attack with whatever Marines he has. Oh, this is weird. You seen a lot of weird games. Yeah, weird is uh, one of the There's words that I used to describe it. <laughs> I mean, the queens oh are coming up, God. but the Marines are gonna take care of the queens. So. There's nothing like you stop the medevac, you stop the tank. He's actually gonna let the tank die to the drones. Oh my god, no! Just so Jesus. greedy getting that last shot from that uh, from that tank. But the medevac getting low, the tank getting low. But that's not the only one. There's a liberator coming up now too. There's, there's, 
He's making more queens. Hyun's got a decent drone count. I will say this. Like, despite what he just lost, he's got a decent drone count. And Gumio's still one basing this. Yeah, I, I don't know how this is really going to continue. But, you know, Marines are pretty cheap. Gumio can still make them out of two barracks. No problem. Uh, he does start a command center, oh finally. God. It's like, so risky with this tank. It actually has, like, no, no health on it. I'm gonna put it in the safety zone of the Liberator. It's bait. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, the queen's gonna pop out. That queen, the queen, the queen. It's gonna kill both of them. <laughs> no! No! Just one of them. Oh, well. There you go. Tank. She could have been a hero. Uh, more Marines coming now. Liberator's done. Tank's gonna be unseized and just probably walk across the map. The Liberator being left like this, too, it looks a bit silly. Some of you might wonder why not put that in the drone line of the main base, but it does deny Larva, which means this hatchery becomes effectively useless because it can't build anything. Marine's gonna take care of this queen, and I'm sad to say, but I think Hyun is gonna be forced out of the tournament at this rate. A scan? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I agree. I think Hyun is lost. I He's getting some ravages right now, but they're only gonna be able to take out one Liberator at a time. Still kind of trying to get queens, I guess, because all of his larvas dead. It's been picked off with Liberators, or there's haven't been queens injecting, so... One one of the Liberators does go down. Uh, Marine's course are the only thing that can hit the buildings here, funny enough, so... Second Liberator gonna fall. He's gonna focus on the hatchery. Gumio finally expands six and a half minutes into the game. But GG. GG. Wow. Nerf Terran. Yes, exactly.